at the Chasewater Railway in Staffordshire, hidden amongst their collection of heritage rolling stock, stands the brand new CBD-80 battery-powered locomotive, delivered in pristine condition straight from the factory by driver Ian Baglady and the crew. Like many of the new and restored engines here, it will spend several weeks undergoing rigorous tests before being handed over to its new owners. It's great seeing the new locos because they um, they are the future and it's great to be able to see where it's going and what the future holds. Uh, we are type testing, which includes brakes, suspension, control, drivability, remote control, all the whole systems to make sure the loco works as intended. We make lots of different locomotives, so even though some look very similar, they are in essence quite different depending on the customer specification. So this one is a battery locomotive, and this customer has ordered a batch of 15, and this is the first one of its type uh, to the customer's specification. We do more tests on the first one than we will do on the rest of the batch to make sure that we're happy with how it works. So when we deliver it to the customer, he's happy. These being the locomotives of the future, the technology on board calls for very specialised technicians. I'm in charge of finding all the faults in the circuits. With the loco having over 2,000 wires, and in order for us to get it ready for the customer, we have to make sure all the wires are in the right places and all the circuits work. Locomotives here have every single aspect of their operation put under the testing microscope. Laptops connected to the internal circuitry and controllers test everything from battery efficiency to speed and braking. When an engine pulls up to 1,000 tonnes, nothing can be left to chance. Testing has gone brilliant today. A bit cold, but we've ticked off all those things we needed to do. A few more little things that will finish tomorrow, and we're good to go. It may all be high-tech testing here, but there is one job that does sound like a lot of fun. I'm just checking the sound level of the horn to make sure that it's loud enough for the standard. With everything down to the smallest detail tested, the engine can safely head off into service.